Hello you all and welcome to this new edition of Lexio Musica. This is the place for great lyrics, great music and uh, great meaning. My name is Guilain Prince, I'm a Franciscan friar from Canada and uh, since my teenage years I love to listen to rock music, especially hard rock, metal and prog. And um, and now I'm doing this this little uh, which I call this a series uh, we say chronique in French, uh, in which I listen with you guys a song I never heard. This is what we call a reaction video, and I react spontaneously to the song. I do that in French because I want to be spontaneous. So I'll do I do these reaction videos in French. But the analysis uh, I began to do it in in English. Why? because uh, there is a question for me uh, to do the subtitles and the subtitles sometimes they take a lot of time when I do uh, a, a reaction video in French it doesn't really matter because it's very short the section of comment is very short but when I do a re, uh, an analysis video in English about an English song it works fine to the subtitles automatically automatically do themselves on YouTube in English but if there is French and English mixed up <laughs> it doesn't work as well and I have to redo everything it's very very long that way um, I spare myself quite a lot of time maybe three four hours a week so that's a good thing and uh, I do it uh, we call it at experimentum uh, as, a, as an experiment until the end of this epica journey and I, I will make a re-evaluation of all that but I would like to hear the opinion of my uh, fellow French speaking subscribers they, they are used to hear me in French uh, subtitles in French of course they are the best it's my mother tongue I, in fact I build my um, subtitles in Spanish and Italian from the French and not from the uh, original language uh, English I will be more precise in French uh, than I am in English uh, of course it's my language so the, the retrospective the survey the historical or chronological order uh, survey is made of 11 songs identified by the, 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 the fans and that I chose uh, among the five stars I would say because of the lyrics what I found uh, in terms of lyrics uh, I really loved it and uh, I said oh uh, just a, a rapid so I said okay I will take these 11 songs we are at the fourth and this one is called chasing the dragon now chasing the dragon is part of an album called the divine conspiracy it was published in 2007 it's not a new song but it is considered a classic by the members uh, the fans of the, uh, uh, the, the, the fandom of uh, Epica it's the fourth piece of music on this album before you have a, a, an opening called Indigo the obsessive devotion and menace of vanity are second and third song on the album you notice that the two first are about flaws in the human mind and heart and uh, I think it's the same thing with chasing the dragon we're talking about the human mind the human soul so let's take right now into the words of the, the song chasing the dragon the first paragraph begins absolutely beautiful an introduction made of two acoustic guitars it, it, it begins like a beautiful ballad okay very smooth and the melody is is gorgeous and and uh, Simone um, is young on the studio uh, version and and she has experience in the 10th anniversary that we looked at together Ah, she is flawless a beautiful voice everything is controlled and she sings free my mind heal my scar so at first it's very beautiful it's very comforting and we hear beautiful words it's a good thing to free our mind to heal our scars but what we can see right from there is that the mind feels uh, 
uh, kind of entrapped or imprisoned in some way. Erase the past. This is a strong, a strong expression. Uh, of course, we all know that some events of our past are not necessarily good memories. But to erase the past is a very, uh, I would say, a very. Uh, uh, it's a, in a way, it's a terrible wish to erase the past. Not not few memories. It's it's erase the past to begin anew dark days to forget many days dark that we want to forget so it begins with a, a very hard look on on owns history the person talking through the voice of uh, simone and memories to last no, dark days to forget and memories to last in my heart so there is a, a deception about something being impressed in the heart from which the person seems to be imprisoned. And there is the beautiful, uh, I would say, e ethereal uh, voice, free me now. Um, it's beautiful, beautiful. Make me forget and forgive. Now there is something quite interesting. The person demands to someone else or something else to forgive and forgive again like the first verse it seems good there's no use to go on and live uh, this is not necessarily a good sign here there's no use to go on so as if the person want to die or as if the person want to cut herself from the past. Show me a way to the sun. There is a clear indication of want, wanting to cut, to change radically something here, so that we can go to the sun, to the sun here. Uh, at first sight, it might sound a good thing, but I will show you that it is not here heal my scars this seems to be very good we will see how it is not necessarily a good thing here comes what i call another voice uh, i mean it's the, the person singing is still simone but simone i don't think she is the same character here i think it is a more general uh, more general uh, reading is uh, here it's not talking to you it's generally speaking nothing will be forever gone memories will stay and find their way you see the, it is more like a general observation on the human our human situation and here uh, memories they, they are not, uh, things are not forgotten or erased, even worse, erased. No, they are not, they, they are, they can be gone here as if it's a, well, it can be gone for a little while, but it will come back. They are fine their way. What goes round, around will come around. So it means, it, you can go around them but they will come back and things happening you will come back all these things will come back this is very interesting there is a, a clear contrast between the two first verse and this that seems it seems to be a chorus and i will tell you how for now we're not sure if it's entirely positive but you will see that according to the uh, position in the song it becomes uh, a very very strong chorus here don't deny your fears don't go around don't don't try to escape don't try no don't deny your fears. let them go and fade into the lights as if you leave them let them live and they will fade away give up the fight here stop fighting against against your memories your your you see how it is a different attitude here 
compared to the, the, the two first verse. And it's a very interesting here, very interesting uh, perspective. Um, I will tell you that the, the, the two last line might give up, give up the fight. We're not sure if it's positive here, but later we will see it, it can be quite positive, in fact. Now, something seems to be changing here. The two first verse, they were not necessarily positive. But here, let my eyes take in the beauty that's here. This is very good. To be in the present, to appreciate the beauty of what we see. That's left on the earth. There is, there is beauty left on the earth. To see it. To witness is a very good thing. My ears long to hear a melody. Give me sight. Give me sight. I want to have a clear vision. There is, there might be something changing in the person uh, described in the two first verses. A small word to say that the Paragraph 5 is the same as paragraph 3, what I call the chorus, the very beautiful melody. And here comes paragraph 6 that Simone sings with the choir. Poison is slowly seeping through my, my veins, stealing the only dignity in me. This is the first line telling us that we're not talking about something simple here. A poison kills you or damages you in a way. It can be literal, but it can be also a, a metaphor or a, a symbolic poison. But one thing is is going through my veins. So, how did it go into my vein? And stealing the only dignity. So, removing, removing from me dignity. And there is something very important in that verse, and we will come back about it a little bit later. In a ballad, in a beautiful melody, with Simone is singing uh, verse 1 and 2 in a certain way, the chorus in a certain way, and the poison in another way with the choir, we see that there seems to be kind of three persons uh, that she, uh, she uh, embodies in a way. But here in Grant's Mark arrive, I pick them up and let them fall to cause your pain and hit them all. Uh, so there is here something or someone that picked them up and let them fall. And to cause your pain. Now the Mark is talking to someone. Is he talking to us? I don't think so. He's talking to the person who sang the first and second verse. I picked them up. So there is a poison that kind of bring the person up making the person feel good but after that i let them fall there is a poison that that uh, i would say creates some kind of illusion of 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 being up and then you fall back and you and it causes pain and hit them all that's quite something, isn't it? So, to those who didn't read the lyrics closely, what happened here is that we are uh, struck in the face by the grunts. What? What? Grunts? With such a beautiful melody, with, with this beautiful singing, until now maybe we made the mistake to think that it's a very naive and candid song. But not with that anymore. We cannot. We have to understand that there's something at stake here. Very important. One more life to live, plea the person. 
is what I want. I want to live another life, another life. So it comes back to the first and the second verse where the person wants to erase, to forget an, another life, another life. Can we have another life in that way? I don't think so. I think this is a mirage in a way. But then Marx come back with the growling. I'll take the joy away from them. No, it's not only to the person he's talking now. He's talking about vast numbers of persons, at, at least uh, uh, multiple persons. I'll take the joy. Remember how the two first verses, they were pleading, expecting joy, expecting happiness, relief. Uh, now I'll take away the joy. See to it, they will be dull. They, I, I, I'll see to it, they will all be damned. 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 The religious word for condemnation. I'll, they will all be damned. So this uh, grunt, uh, it says, I'll, I'll take the joy away from them and I'll make sure they'll be damned. There is something in that character here, very vicious, because he gives the impression of joy, but he, in fact, he kind of make people. Uh, uh, he captures them, and then he, he bang them, hit them, they condemn, and bring joy away. Send joy, take joy away from them. This is a very, very nasty character here. And the growling of Mark, perfect. One more chance to heal what I have harmed. The person is still pleading for new life, for something new, and, and to, 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 to a new chance to begin everything, you know? Everything that I have harmed. Um, and then there is a key important key sung again like on the same the same fashion the same way that simone sang the poison this is how i call it the third voice of simone the dragon is wrecking havoc in my brain wrecking havoc really making a mess of my brain plays my emotion make mix them makes them he plays my emotion like a, a game never ending game so i will call mark the dragon here and the dragon is making the person miserable absolutely miserable making both the brain and the heart completely upside down uh, and there you have, again, this beautiful chorus. It comes like, like, what, what is, it's, it's kind of a reality in general. Nothing, uh, it will come back and, uh, and uh, memories have to be dealt with and so on. It's like, there is a way out of this never what seems to be a never-ending game but it seems that it's not an easy path one more life to live for me and uh, the plea for a new life you know and then at a very high high pace the choir comes in I want the night just to call her the day, the morning to chase all my nightmares, nightwear, uh, nightmares away. Something that uh, uh, we hear sometimes from people uh, uh, having problem with addictions. Eh? The, 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 the day is just waiting for the night. Huh? And, and so I want the night to call her my day, but at the same time, when I spend a night um, with a life that's all upside down, when the morning comes, uh, is all, sometimes it's the only time the person will be able to sleep because the night is filled with nightmares. Don't deny that we are all human beings. 
okay that's good a general principle you know we all have flaws ah uh, that's a general principle and it's a good thing to remind us so don't you deny it. they are talking the quiet's talking to the other person okay so they are telling him uh, telling her sorry don't you deny that we are all human beings and that we have flaws okay be reconciled with your flaws because these flaws can make ourselves obscene now this is very strong it's it is a very strong word it means that these flaws if they are not taken care of they will become a, a, a part of us that will be abject obscene it, it it will be out of control you see and mark obscene uh, in, a, in an echo says uh, obscene so he is mark he is one of the flaws that makes the person obscene do you see how it it connects i think finally in a way that the choir is is the best of humanity in that person and a I would say collective memory uh, about different things different experience and uh, and uh, mark is a, a part of the same person a flaw that is uh, acting making the person completely out of control seems to me but the per the person longs for something good but she she takes the wrong path and mark with the crawl comes give me what i want give me what i need right now how does it sound to you that that's what i want that's what i need get it get it go get it or get it understand this seems to me a very very strong addiction of some kind did you did you did you think the same thing for me this is when i heard that that i said oh the poison is that an addiction an addiction like uh, alcohol maybe not but i thought of a uh, of hard drugs hard drugs and then the dragon would then be <coughs> and then the dragon would be an addiction to a strong drug this is how i read that when i read that uh, paragraph i said to me it, it became quite obvious at the time and you remember the choir i told you it's it's kind of a of a collective memory uh, i would say here in latin a collective uh, wisdom i see that um, uh, mark li likes to use latin to hide or to uh, i would say um, symbolically uh, put the words into an old language so that we work a little bit harder to find the the, the 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 center of what is written here dolendo no vit mortalis vitam in uh, oh sorry i translated it in french instead of english um, by suffering or in the suffering in suffering the mortal the human the mortal human discover life huh? Par la souffrance, le mortel découvre la vie. So, the piece of wisdom we have in Latin here is that it is in suffering that the mortal discovers something of life, something important about life. Oh, that's interesting because the person wants to remove the scars, wants to remove by probably some kind of addiction. But here, the, the wisdom tells us suffering is part of life it's it's an important part of life oh okay so it means don't try to escape it it's more like uh, try to 
to make it a part of your life. And um, the, uh, Dolendo, this is more immortal, is par la mort, uh, by suffering, the mortal learns to die. As if there was kind of an illusion of not dying or having another life. You remember this kind of illusion, this kind of mirage, mirage uh, she had in the first verses and somewhere. Now is to be reconciled with death and that in death there is a reconciliation, uh, no sorry, in suffering there is a reconciliation with death. It's interesting, isn't it? And I couldn't agree more than that. It's, it's, it, I think that's why it's in Latin, because uh, I think it's a very old wisdom. Sometimes people think, oh, no, 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 there is something important here that has been found by older generations. And I think it's an important key. In between these two, because the, these two uh, uh, paragraphs are 17 and 19, there is a paragraph 18 sung by Mark. Remember, give me what I want, give me what I need right now. Do you remember that? Now look closely. Tell me what I want. Tell me what I need right now. It's totally the, 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 the other, the opposite. In the first is give me, give me, give me. I am the master I give you. Now tell me what I want. Tell me what I need right now. As if the flaw, the dragon, ask to be nourished but correctly. This is how I read that here. It turns around, the attitude turns around. What I need, the dragon, the dragon need, want to be fed, but to be fed by what he truly wants and what he truly needs. Right now, this is what I want, this is what I need. You see how it's very well written here. Cure me. Cure the dragon. Cure the one, the, 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 the flaw. Cure it. This is class A. Excellent, excellent lyrics. They are said quite, uh, it's hard to hear, eh? and we really have to read closely to see such beautiful lyrics. And then comes the beautiful uh, chorus again. And you see, in that context, after he said, uh, tell me what I want, tell me what I, cure me, there you see that this, these lyrics, they have full space. Musically, the choir sings, the, uh, Simone sings, the band, the, the orchestra, everything is singing together, full volume. Nothing will be forever gone. Hmm? Your memories will always be there. They will stay and they find their way back. You cannot forget. So this, this stuff that you took, <laughs> that would make you forget and, uh, and supposedly forgive. It's not the case. Real forgiveness, you still remember. What goes around will come around, of course. It's part, it will be there in your life. You have to be reconciled with it. Don't deny your fears. Your fears. Uh, uh, so there are fears that we can deny and try to go around, don't deny them, and let them go, fade into light, give up the fight. The dragon is not, uh, is not defeated by fighting with, with, with hands and, 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 and fists. It, it is defeated by taking care of it. This is for first class understanding of the human soul here lyrics. Is it a monologue or dialogue or trialogue? We say sometimes in French. Uh, in fact, I think it's pretty much all inside one heart. There is a person who is tempted by uh, some kind of artificial uh, paradise 
and um, asking to, to uh, wanting to to free from memories of hard things and so on and then suddenly there is this these this other voice uh, a more I would say good sense other voice uh, come in here probably some kind of collective memory inside of calling the person to 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 do to be something else and there there is the dragon the flaw that is uh, uh, it, it, asking for everything and then suddenly changing and, and, and asking to be taken care of. I think, in fact, it's a kind of monologue between portions of a single person. It begins with a desire to be free from pain and wounds. Who would not like that? But freedom from pain and wounds is not through a certain path, but through another one and uh, so there is something there's a, there's a fear of ha something happening in her and uh, it, it felt like a combat a menace of, uh, but uh, it is it, it, it is solved in a very very ingenious way it's very well written I love this kind of writing it's uh, it's a ballad with what I call a twist. Now, the one not reading closely to the lyrics, lyrics, when he hears the grunts and the very fast-paced sections, doesn't understand how come a beautiful song in popular music. It's always the same, pretty much the same recipe. You, you, you install a mood and you kind of keep the song into that mood uh, until what we call resolution, the final. Here, it's, there's a twist, there's something in there, a beautiful, exquisite ballad. We will talk about the music. And then these lyrics, very punchy and very harshly said. Um, I love that kind of song. I said to uh, somebody on the internet the other day, it's a, 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 a paradox. It's a, not the living paradox, but it's a song that begins as like a ballad but it turns out to be something else. And it reminded me only one other song I remember. It's uh, from Genesis of the 70s. There is, I think it's on the album, Trick of the Tale. Uh, there's a song, it's not ripples, it's Entangled, Entangled. Uh, it's a beautiful ballad. You hear it's beautiful. You don't take, you don't you pay attention to the lyrics. You say, oh, what a beautiful uh, ballad. Then you look at the words and you say, but is, is this person saying, is, 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 it seems to be mental health issues with a person in very bad condition. So there is, you end up a beautiful ballad talking about something very grave and serious and very harsh in a way. This is the kind of beautiful song. It's, there's a combat in the mind of someone and, and all these characters they talk about, it's the same person, I think, but it's, it's epic, it's a combat. It's like facing a dragon, like, uh, 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 I would say, uh, knights and, and, and swords and beating a dragon. But then, here, the dragon has to be cured, has to be fed. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. How oh, the music is exquisite, I said, the melody of the, what I call the chorus, 3, 5, 12. Wow, the, this melody is, is, is exceptional. It could, it could have made out of this a, a very poppy uh, ballad. Uh, it would have... <laughs> they decided to do something very audacious, and I like that kind of, of, of gamble. There are harsh moments, and, and it comes as a surprise, like I said, for the person not reading the lyrics carefully. Uh, it seems even out of place. Why Why did you do that right in the middle of this beautiful song? Those who, those of us, I'm part of it, who are romantic in a way, say, what, what are they doing? And then you understand how important it is, because the point of the song is very important. Now, here are a few lines. I, I just want to remind you before concluded. Paragraph 2. There is no use to go on and live. That's harsh. 3, 5, and 12. Nothing will be forever. Memories will stay and find their way, etc., etc. We talked about it many times. 
beautiful. Let's keep that in memory, in mind. Poison is slowly seeping through my veins, stealing the only dignity in me. There is a poison in this story, and it's it's doing terrible things, very terrible things. The dragon is wrecking havoc in my brain. This is harsh. Plays my emotion a never-ending game. There is something in the mind of the person, there's some kind, what I called here, an addiction, that uh, brings the person upside down. It's, it seems to be an unending game, and it's very hard to come out of it. And just the two saw, the two lines in Latin, just to remind you, by suffering the mortal, discover life. By suffering, the mortal learns to die. Um, I think it is a wonderful song. Now, what is chasing the dragons? If we know the dragon is 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 very demanding and 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 needs to turn around, and uh, it it makes havoc in the brain, poison in the vein, in my vein, uh, I will make them fall. Um, and how can we be chasing? If the dragon is, uh, how can we be chasing a uh, poison? And I think this is how you've got your answer. How come somebody can search for something that brings uh, the brain to wreck and to fall or even to die? And this is how you have the answer that it is uh, drug addiction. Uh, chasing the dragon has something to do with drug addiction and the the kind of quest to renew what uh, what we call the the, the the first high of uh, a drug addish addiction the person will search all of his life for the first high he gets from a certain drug eh? now um, uh, it's uh, just before uh, entering into this um, the words chasing the dragon i will tell you in a minute what it means exactly though this song is an exceptional paradox there is the illusion of drug the illusion of of happiness of quietness at the beginning from the drug that cuts you from suffering part of yourself but as it is said the quest for peace and healing uh, there is a way that arms us harms us uh, and there is a way that brings us to life the suffering the scars and the regrets are parts of life and cutting ourselves from these is in fact cutting ourselves from our personality and and of our history in a way the drugs it seems here don't solve the problem and i agree with that it will give a temporary relief it, but temporary but you come back from the high uh, not only the problem are still there but sometimes the problems are, becomes bigger and bigger especially with hard drugs the person falls into a trap where in fact the person cannot come out without help will not be able to come out without help so the song is the quest for a real solution a real solution and chasing the dragon here can be um, understood in, 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 in two ways. Chasing the dragon can be uh, the basic understand, understanding uh, of uh, chasing the drug effect. If you look on the internet, uh, just before going to the live section, if you go on the internet, just put the words in brackets, chasing the dragon, just ask that you will arrive on medical sites. These medical sites, they talked about the addiction of a certain kind of heroin, uh, a smoking one, with the person burning the heroin on a aluminum foil, for example, and the fume of this, this form of heroin is being aspired uh, with a straw or something. And it's a very, very efficient but also destructive way of uh, drug addiction so the, the title clearly aims at a flaw drug addiction in the human heart but now this thing that is chased by the person uh, uh, relentlessly 
and falls in the trap of getting worse and worse and worse. Of course, the dragon in this song, the, the, the character, the dragon, is the drug addiction. And chasing the dragon in this song would be to take care of the dragon, to take care of the dragon of this addiction by finding the real solution to take care of it. This is what you have, the real solution. It, it tells you, tell me what I need and cure me. So the combat is not against a dragon. It's more recognizing that there is a dragon within ourselves. If we don't take care, we become obscene. But if we take care of the dragon and we, it can be cured and not be something that will bring our life falling to pieces, it will in fact enrich our life. Uh, the combat during the song changes uh, from being external to be uh, a part of, us, of ourselves being accepted. There's a beautiful saw, a story about that, you know, about St. Francis of Assisi, about a, a wolf uh, terrorizing a, a village and uh, everybody wants to kill the wolf. And St. Francis of Assisi, he went to the, the wolf and the, the, the legend says, um, uh, he talked to the wolf and understood that the wolf was simply hungry. So he said, what if... Uh, the village, the people in the village, they give you food once a week. Would that be okay? The, the, the wolf said yes. And even today in Gubbio in Italy, we can visit the tomb of the, the wolf 800 years after that made peace with the village because of St. Francis of Assisi. Now, the legend, of course, but it talks about something. It, it talks about taking care of a part of ourselves if we don't take care, it will become very mean, very demanding, like a wolf attacking uh, the farms and the people of a village. But if we take care of this part, then it can be uh, in peace with us and we can leave and have a real relief. Now, a few words about the life, uh, the life uh, version of the song. It's the great setup and and the addition visually of the the, the aerial dance. It's beautiful. We uh, in Quebec here, we, of course, we know the Cirque du Soleil. It's the specialty of the Cirque du Soleil. This, this, these beautiful numbers and uh, oh, this is wonderful. Simone uh, shines, really shines in this song beautifully it's wonderful to hear it's i think it's really better she's a better singer uh, at the 10th anniversary than at the in 2007 and, and, and it's only five years eh? five or six years before but she's much better singer and it, it was wonderful to hear and still it was good at the studio but um, yeah there is we say in french envergure a large scale uh, in the song about something happening in the human heart which is very very well served by the large scale of the the the, the show it's it becomes an experience the the show make it an experience and uh, it's it was wonderfully made and when i think that every singer in the choir had an individual mic when i see all these instruments with uh, metal, uh, metal uh, uh, rhythm section and all this. It's extremely complicated. I, I have, I have done sound um, engineering for gospel choir. I can tell you how it is difficult to have a choir and uh, I would say a rock band together. It's terrible. The, the microphone and I ended up doing exactly what they did meaning that every single singer in a choir would have the microphone it was impossible to do otherwise unless the sound if you don't do that the sound of the drums we call this bleed in the other microphone the, uh, of the choir of the other instruments it, it's impossible to do go a good a good sound engineering for that show this must have been a 
incredible work to do. Probably there was someone just doing the equilibrium of the, God, the choir, just the choir, and then sending few channels to the general, and then you would you would control the the choir and 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 the rest of the band. It it must have been incredibly difficult to do the sound engineering of this show. So it was, it is beautiful. And you suggest me that I I should listen with you guys the whole the whole concert. I think I might do that because the concert seems to be so good. Uh, it's wonderful to, to listen. Everything I listened from this concert is beautiful. Now, we're finished with the fourth song. The fifth one is Santa Terra. I know that many of you are very happy about this song. Uh, it has been asked for me from me um, since the very beginning of this chronicle. I did uh, Stabat Mater. I think it's the fourth or the fifth. And right there, somebody asked me, hey, would you do that? Uh, uh, Sancta Terra with uh, Florian Sanz. Ah, I will do the studio version and the live version from, I think it's from Retro Retrospect as well. Anyways, it's with F Flor Jensen. Um, remind you, every Tuesday, 7.30, Western Europe, the premiere of every reaction video. So be there if you want. We were uh, something like 30, 50, 70, it's pretty much that that numerous uh, and I don't care five person I'm happy because I'm so happy to share with other person my love for this great music really uh, Thursday or Friday the analysis of the same song will be in English you just listen to one analysis I do that it comes out uh, Thursday or Friday every week uh, uh, and uh, I will stop few weeks in August two weeks and and I will be there and I'm here for a few years so I hope you, you get interested in what I do. <laughs> and finally, you already know, if you want, you can subscribe and push the little bell that you have and to tell, to, just to be informed that my, my chronicle, my series, uh, a new video came out and uh, you won't miss a, uh, not even one. So we continue Epica in August somewhere. We will go back to Nightwish, but we will do an historical survey like we're doing with Epica. And after that, in some uh, some somewhere in October, it will be Rush. So it will be a great a great adventure in metal Prague because Rush we will touch a little bit of Prague as well. So bye for now, guys, and see you next week. <laughs>